Hi everyone, Petra here, Petra's Queen of Plans. Thank you for joining me. So today we will be doing the March setup in my classic vertical planner. Let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started. So March is a special month for me. It is my birthday month and I am excited to get this monthly setup done. I'm going to go ahead and pull these pages out so that it's easier to work with them. Um, as always, I find it's easier to pull from the top down when you're taking the pages out of the planner. So we'll go ahead and get everything set up nicely and then we will start with the decor. So the kit for March is really cute. It's got these kind of soft yellows and blues. Um, again, we've got the option of doing the years of 2023, 24, or 25. The birthstone for March is aquamarine, so you have this nice light blue color. And the flower is the daffodil. So here I've made some fun soft green and yellow daffodils. And that's where that yellow comes in for those box stickers as well. So to start off with, I'm going to just go ahead and write out the portion that says notes and where it says March and the 2023 on the top and then we can start placing in our decorative stickers. I really love these watering cans and there's two of them and I want to use one of those but I'm going to change my mind and take the other one so that it is facing in towards the spread. I don't know why, I just felt like that would fit better than if the spout was facing away. And so I'm going to go ahead and stick that down here. And after that, I think what I want to do is a little bit different and I want to put the March title in. And instead of putting it how I usually do on the side, I'm going to have the letters come down from the top and I'm going to make them off center and a little bit, you know, twisted this way and that way. This font is really fun it looks like it's been drawn in and so I just wanted to carry on that kind of feel with setting this up I want it to be a little bit of playful I want it to be fun and just kind of relaxed Now, I think that the A and the M are not quite crooked enough, they look too straight compared to the other letters, so I'm just going to adjust these a little bit here, and then I'm a lot happy with how that looks. So we're going to go ahead and um, place down the 2023 next. And while I have these functional stickers in hand, I'm going to start putting in some box stickers on the dates that I know I have something. And I'm going to put these on a little bit crooked as well, just to keep with that kind of fun feeling for the spread.
already know of some tasks that I have to do in March um, that I don't have specific dates for yet. Um, they don't necessarily need a specific date. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in some bullet points up at the top in some of these empty boxes where I can write down kind of like monthly to-dos or some things I need to make sure that I stay aware of for this month. And so then once we've done that, I think that's all the functional boxes that I need so far. There's not too much ahead in March. Um, I might have a couple of other little bullet points to put in here, but otherwise I think that's pretty good. Um, and then once I've got the rest of these boxes and we're not finished up, we'll go into the decorative flowers. So I'm going to use some of these stickers to cover up where I used the white right up at the top. And you'll see that I don't really like how that one looks and I do actually end up changing that and moving it. Um, and that's fine. I don't have to fix the white right because the sticker will pull some of that white right up. But it is not a problem when I put the sticker back down somewhere else on the spread. You can't even tell that there was white out. Um, it just kind of hides everything. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and very carefully pull that sticker up so I can move it um, and I'll fix the, where the white out lifted up and then we'll keep going with our decorations. and the borders like I normally do. I just kind of want to use them to highlight and to decorate some of the actual boxes where I know that I maybe won't have too much going on on certain days or I already have a box sticker for the big event for that day. Um, and then the nice thing is, is that I can hang on to these extra stickers and I can either use them in other spreads or I can come back in and fill them in as I need throughout the month.
there we go that is quick and simple and I think that is done and I have a lot of stickers left over I have a full sheet of the daffodil flowers that I've hardly even touched and I still have lots of the box stickers as well so let's go ahead and pop this back on the discs and we'll take a look at the finished product here I am loving it it is fun and playful and very spring like I cannot wait to use this one as always these sticker kits are available at my store www.petroscreativeplans.ca um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little plan with me don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys soon I hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching bye